Oh, that's nice. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk and shoddy. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent shoddy. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. Here today to test what tires are the best for drifting. So we have a very basic S15 tune with a twin turbo GTR motor in it. And we're uh, going to try different compound tires here to see which one suits better. We're going to leave the tune the same. We're running about 539 horsepower, I believe. And we're just going to switch tire compounds. We are here at Suzuka Short. S15 stock tires here at Suzuka. And we're going to go to the next compound of tires. We're trying to see which compound tires suit best. So here we go. Stock tires. Let's see what we can do. Uh, a little too wide. Was not expecting to slide as much as it did. So I need to e-brake in sooner. So here we go. Now let's see what we can do. It's going to be easy on the throttle a little bit. I thought I was going to lose that, but ease off the gas a little bit to keep that. Uh, don't lose the dirt. I don't care if we lost the drift points. I was able to not spin out. That's all I cared about. So... This is what stock tires feel like. Very, very, very slidey. Very slidey, actually. I'm gonna try and get this first turn in again and see what we can do. We can make this first turn a little bit better. Wrong gear. There we go. Oh, that snap back. And then the no ABS. <laughs> Bad entry. So I gotta work on my entry in that turn for sure. We're gonna try this last lap and then we're gonna switch tire compounds and see. Now we are in stock tire pressure so these might feel better if we adjust the tire pressure some. But I wanna do them on stock pressures. Oh, don't lose that. Little clutch kick. Just smoking out third gear. Here we go. Getting used to how this S15 slide. Oh, really? Cut the grass, lose all our points. Really? Ah, oh, triggered. So if we go into pits, is it going to actually take us to the garage or is it just going to run us through? No, it's just going to pit us. So we're going to go back to the menu and we're going to change out tires. Luckily we can change tires right here in this setting. Game. Setup. Tuning. Upgrades. So now we are going to bump our tires up to street tires. We're going to install those. We don't really change much. We don't change the look of the tire, but we are on street tires now. So now we're going to rip this out on the track on street tires. Luckily, they let us do this now because before you had to quit and come back and quit and come back. So street tires, factory settings. So 30 and 30. Like I said, it might be better if we were to tune the tires pressures, but get a basic feel on these tires. So we're going to have a little more grip. Feedback still feels pretty solid. There's actually a little more control in the front end, actually. Um, I kind of like these street tires right now. I have a little more control of the car. Feels a little more planted. We didn't spin it though. We saved that, so we're good. I okay, said so we are probably about ah uh, in the dirt. We're at about 530 horsepower. It's in turbo. So 
So these uh, street tires have a little bit better feel actually than the stock tires do. Uh, I have a little more control of the front end of the car. So I think that is equivalent to, you know, better slides, I guess you could say. Like right there. But it is very uh, not friendly if you get off the gas. It will grip up a lot faster, obviously, because it has more grip. But the feel of the tires are pretty good. The feedback does that change much. Like before the six, when you change your tires, the feedback kind of goes away because they've done an amazing job with the feedback in this game. Got the grass. Oh, I caught the grass. I caught a little bit of grass. It kind of kind of screwed me up a little bit. So, street tires definitely uh, a better feel than stock. A little more control. Still the same on a wheel spin. Speeds are a little higher, but not much. So we're gonna try and get this first turn again. We go into the right gear. Nice and wide. There was no way I was gonna link that, but. Yep, I think I like street tires right now. So now we're going to quit up, go to the next compound of tires, which I believe are sport tires. Then we have race tires, and then we have drag slicks. So we've got two more compounds of tires to try out. Oh, no, not select car. I don't want select car. I already know what car I want. Tuning, upgrades, tires. I need to start racing for money. I'm going to go to sport tires now. So now, like I said, we are keeping the tire pressures the same. We're just switching compounds. The so tire pressures are still 30-30. I haven't adjusted those. We have the same tune suspension-wise on the car. Pretty stable too. Could probably be a lot better, but still getting the tuning down pat in this game. All right, so now we are on sport tires. Let's see what these sport tires can do. A lot more control of the front of the car. Of course, obviously, a lot more gas is needed in order to keep the tire spinning. With the increase of grip. But, it's not horrible. It's not like, you know, completely unslidable. Like, right there, just clutch kicked it. And if you get in that right spot, if I would have stayed there on the throttle and the steering, I would have been good. So these feel like they have a right, like, a nice, consistent throttle it likes, except I completely botched that area. Like, right there, if I would, like, it likes that amount of angle and speed, so we we'll get another lap here on these sport tires speeds are definitely a lot higher though I thought I was gonna lose that but I didn't so this game is very driftable on all tire compounds so far even at lower speeds on sport tires is nice. Definitely more throttle input is needed on these tires, obviously with the grip change. I'm curious how race tires are going to feel and how drag slicks are going to feel because we are going to try drag slicks. So 
So, those felt pretty good. I do like how those felt. So now we're going to switch up the tires again. We got two more compounds to go. So far, I still think my st the street tires are my favorites. A little bit more grip than the stocks. Not as grippy as these. So now we are going to go to the next tire compound, which is race tires. I'm curious on these how this is going to work. So we are on race tire compound now. 530 some horsepower. Let's uh, do how race tires handle. Getting sideways. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try and race in fourth like the other ones. A lot more grip. Yep, I don't think race tires are the right choice for drifting. A little bit too much grip in them unless you have a lot of power but it is they are driftable if you keep the tires spinning except the fronts grip up really fast so there's a lot of snapback oversteer if you're not careful a clutch kick there we go but like the sport tires it has a right angle like right there that it likes and if you can keep it in that little comfort zone of those tires like right there if you can keep it in the comfort zone you're good but as soon as you use off throttle or lose the wheel speed because you're you know catching grip and accelerating through the turns you have to uh you start to straighten up so obviously because of the ma a massive grip these race tires give Let's give us one more shot. Shifter issues. Massive clutch kick to try to keep angle, but it didn't work out. Oh boy. And these things are definitely not friendly on grass. So if you so much as touch grass with these tires, you have an issue but if you get it right and you can find that little niche that this tire likes I think there's just a little bit too much grip on these so I'm curious how drag slicks are gonna do because this is the last tire compound we have to try so we're gonna switch over to drag compound now which is the last tire compound of this car right now streets are still my favorite of all of the tires. Nope, not tune. We don't need to tune that. Upgrade shop. Tires, tire, blast compound. Yes, I know a special tire compound for drag racing. Okay. Um, but we're. St oh, I didn't install them. And I'm out of money. Nope, time to go do some racing. Haven't been doing much racing. So. Drag compound tires. Better, worse, who knows? Let's find out. Maybe these will be the best tires for drifting. I don't know. That's what I'm here to test right now is the difference in all the compounds and the grip levels. I have a feeling this is not going to be good. Oh, yeah. Definitely a huge grip change. But that's really not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Ah! Uh, oh no. Now, this is on a basic suspension tune. I haven't gotten the suspension tuning in this game down exact yet. Uh, yeah, these things have way too much grip, I think. I think we're going to go back to our sport, to our sport tires. But 
each one has a very different characteristic of driving. So if you haven't tried different tire compounds, I'd recommend trying different tire compounds in a car that you're comfortable with. I'm still trying to get comfortable with these with this car and the you know the feedback and all the physics of Forza 7 and shifter issues. This thing just wants it. It loses a lot of front grip. I'm noticing the front tires lose grip a lot faster with these, obviously, because they're not meant to go sideways. They're meant to go straight. Yep, use a lot of front grip. If you touch the brakes, you lose front grip completely right away. So I think we are going to stick with our sport tires, which we're going to have to put back on. Uh, two news upgrades, upgrade shop. So personal opinion, I believe street, sorry, street tune tires are actually pretty, uh, pretty good set of tires for drifting in a sense. If they have a good amount of front grip and they are still able to break the tires loose. So let us go to a track that we drifted a lot in Forza 6, Lime Rock, and uh, see if we can't bang that first sweeper in Lime Rock. Let's see what we can do. We are back on our street tires. Always overshot this first turn. Lime Rock looks beautiful here in the Forza 7. Oh, that's nice. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how we held that. But we almost. We almost held it, so we're definitely going to try that again. May have to make some modifications a little bit to the suspension settings. Which I'm going to do real quick. Because we can... We'll have to do that back, so we'll just run this backwards and we'll tweak the suspension a little bit. I keep trying to throw way too much angle into the car. I keep thinking it has the angle of a Horizon Edition, and it's not. And the Forza Edition car actually does not have nowhere near the angle as it does in Horizon, so... I don't think the Forza Edition S15 has anything really that special, so... Let's go adjust the suspension and try to rip this again. Uh, tuning, tunes, we are going to adjust the tire pressures a little bit, gearing's okay, I think that's a little bit too much, go with that, we'll give this a whirl and see what this does. I lost. I lost tire spin. I wonder if these these tires are good for high speed drifting, but not low speed. Surprised they let us drift out to that section and get points. I need to control my car there for a second. 
a clutch kick. There we go. Not bad. Could be a lot better. Really need to fix that tight that you know shifting issue. I did what I always do. I go way too wide. I enter too late here at Lime Rock. And it just throws off the whole run. So maybe we're gonna go back to stock tires and just adjust the pressures a little bit. Cause it might keep the angle that I'm trying to accomplish with this car. Tuning. Nope, not tune. Uh, switch back tires. Stocks. Tune. We're gonna adjust this down. And we're going to go with that. And uh, we're going to send this. See how this works. Alright, stock tires with some pressure changes. There we go. That's more like it. A little touch of the grass. Oh, that wheel got really loose when it touched the grass. All right, so stock tires with a little tire pressure change does do a pretty good job. There's a little less front grip, but Not bad, just tap. Nope, that was more than just a tap. Oh, I just bought another car. So I think that's gonna do here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you like to see, you wanna see more, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe down to the channel if you have not already done so. As always, you know you can follow my Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. So, I do like street tires, but stocks are pretty good too. So, if you agree with me or disagree, comment down in the comment section down below. I always like hearing from you guys. Until next time, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm going to blow my car up here, apparently. This is one going to fourth. I got to fix my shifter. So, until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see if I can drift this turn out. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy, cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision, and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign, and she boring. Love the way you twerk and shine.